Hello. When you create a project in Trapstar, you initially chose between a sleeve as a package, a DVD case, or a, a CD case. If you have a multi-disc set, it's going to be in a multi-DVD case. This video will explain some of the differences between the packaging options. First of all, we want to know how to choose and change between the packaging options and that's done in a couple of ways choose your product you may have only one project but in this case we have several you can go to packaging configuration we're gonna go back and do the other one which is just clicking on the actual image of the DVD or CD case and this shows you what you currently have selected to get into package options or here this little setup gives us all of our choices for packaging first of all this is your data type you can learn more about audio CDs versus data CDs in these help videos we're going to just continue on and pick what was already selected this is where you choose your packaging based on what you have if, for example you have a multi-disc set you might have some more choices here but for most of you you're going to be able to choose putting your disc in a safety sleeve in an envelope that's very economical lowest cost option otherwise if you need tracking and so forth you're going to want to package in a bubble mailer and for this almost the same amount of money if you need tracking you may as well just choose a CD case or a DVD case this allows for a CD case you can go in a bubble mailer or a box this one happens to be heavier and it costs a little bit more for that reason and you can choose between putting your DVD case in a box, either a bubble mailer or a box. Most of the time these aren't going to break, so these are just if you want to make sure that it doesn't get broken. They do in fact cost a little bit more for you. Once we continue on, you would have your DVD case overwrap, which we will print and cut, and you will have artwork. Free art templates, which will help you pick the correct size for all of these images. Once we continue on here, you can choose also to include some extra printed material. We don't print books or anything fancy, but you can have 10 printed pages you choose up to five if you have less than five, five zero, one to five, or five to ten. We don't. The idea here is you can include some printout on very high glossy paper, and it's printed with a really high quality laser printer in color. So if you have some kind of marketing material or some some documentation you want to include, in this case we don't want anything. And then at the very end, it gives you a summary. If you changed anything, you'd see a summary of what's included, their weights, what we charge for each item, um, and actually what it would cost to ship them in uh, different types of shipping. So we're going to go back to the account settings. And once again, that's how you change your product options. Click here or under here and packaging configuration. When you're editing your project, in this section here about the CD jewel case, you're going to be uploading your artwork. If I click on this example here, it shows a two panel image. And what we're seeing is what will be shown on the front of the CD case and what will be shown on the inside of the CD case when it's opened. Be sure to go to the Trepstar section on art templates. There's a link on the left column. That'll give you an art template where you can drop your artwork on top of this. This show is the right height and width. Now we're looking at an actual printed version of that artwork. And this will be shown when the disc is open, like this. And then this section here will be shown on the inside. On the inside fold, it's going to be inserted into this panel, so when the CD case is open, you're going to see this part of the artwork. So when you're setting up your artwork, you want to set, up, set it up properly. 
this is what the back tray artwork is going to look like when it's printed. Right here in the project edit area, here is the image for the back tray. This is an example of that. When it's finally printed, however, it's going to look like this. And then when that's inserted into the CD case, it's going to look like this, where the plastic case is here. On the side would be where you'd see the spine portion of the artwork. So this section here would be folded, and you'd see it from the side angle of the CD case. The following example shows where you add your artwork to the DVD case packaging. When you edit your project, you're going to look at the DVD case section. And when you've uploaded your artwork, you're going to see it listed here after you've saved the project. This is what the artwork looks like for this example. And we're going to look over at how it looks when it's printed. When it's printed, you're going to see that we cut it to the right dimensions. And then it will be inserted into the plastic sleeve that goes over the DVD case. When finished and it's folded, this is the front of the DVD case. Now we're going to look at the inside of the DVD case too. That's the disc and then you'll have this section here which is the inside insert. So when the DVD case is open you can add anything here, marketing material or just more instructions. When we're in the Trepstar project this is that inside insert. So first you have the overwrap that slides into the case and then the inside insert. If you have a multiple disc set, we still use the same size DVD cases. Um, we'll explain that in a second. So the artwork remains the same, whether you have a one disc DVD or a six disc set, anything up to six or more. We use a high quality, 100% new material, six disc hub case for multi-disc sets. That's all we offer for multi-disc sets. If you want to have a multi-disc set of individual CD cases or individual DVD cases, you're, wanna, you're gonna want to create separate individual disc projects and order them together as a set, which you can do from the order form. So you can see here, if we zoom in a little bit, there's a hub right here, and it it's a thick section, so it can actually stack discs upon this. This is what it looks like with six discs kind of leaning up against the hub here. This case can hold up to six, and it's the same width as a normal DVD case, which is why we use it. When all of the discs are inserted, they fit into this hub, and you can take them off one by one, and they're held together by this hub piece. So whether you have a three, four, five disc set, they all would go in the same disc case if they're multiple disc sets. For a simple economical one ounce mailer, which is the lowest cost, if you look over here at what your customer receives, this shows a section of, of information here, but here's an example of a disc just inserted into a safety sleeve. It has a cloth backing, so it protects it from scratches, and it has a clear uh, front, so it protects the disc. Now that would end up being shipped in just a regular envelope. It would be similar in size to a Netflix envelope. It's a one ounce rate, so that's why we can offer it for so low a price because we can put a regular first class stamp on it. So in summary, when you want to change the package, you click on your image over here, and then this or that to get into your setup steps. The other choice is to go to this functional drop down menu and go to packaging configuration. To find help on any topic, look here, especially free art templates, and we recommend site search, which you can also do from here. Search any keyword, Google powers this site. 